Hi guys, welcome back. We have new Diddy updates. Diddy is being sued for more alleged sexual assaults. Tony Busby just filed five new lawsuits against Diddy. In one lawsuit, a woman from Maryland claims she was 18 years old in 2001 when Diddy sexually assaulted her outside a Halloween party in New York City. She claims one of Diddy's security guards escorted her to a black SUV limousine where Diddy was waiting with six members of his security team. She claims someone handed her a drink, which made her feel dizzy after consumption, and says Diddy forced her to perform oral sex on each of the men and the limo, and ultimately himself. During the alleged assault, the woman claims Diddy called her derogatory names and sprayed champagne on her, only letting her leave after she gave everyone oral. In another lawsuit, a woman claims she was sexually assaulted on July 4th, 2004 at a Diddy A-list party. The alleged victim claims she was D-R-U-G-G-E-D with spike drink and ultimately lost consciousness. At one point, Diddy and two of his bodyguards approached a then teenager and threatened her. Diddy told her she would be in danger if she spoke about what had occurred stating that he ran New York and would, and would ruin her. At this point, she recognized that at least Diddy had sexually assaulted her while she was unconscious. She feared for her life. The lawsuit says she agreed not to speak to police about what had occurred in exchange for her cell phone and her purse, which she was forced to hand over upon arrival at the party. She was then allegedly escorted to a hotel in East Hampton, New York. In another lawsuit, a man from Florida claims one of Diddy's associates invited him to an after party at a residence in Miami where he says other A-list public figures were having a good time. He claims Diddy or one of his associates D-R-U-G-G-E-D'd him with a lace beverage making him fall in and out of consciousness. He says he woke up to a sharp pain in his wreck and A-N-U-S and noticed his clothes were missing. Turning around to see why his was hurting and seeing a fully erect Diddy trying to insert his you-know-what inside the man's you-know-what. The guy claims Diddy talked dirty to him while wearing a disturbing smile, but he says the D-R-U-G-S made it impossible to fight back or resist Diddy's assault. He says he woke up naked in the same room the next day. He was giving his clothes and was escorted out of the home to be dropped off at the nightclub where the night began. The accusers are going after Diddy for damages. Okay? Now, you guys, the same lawyer repping more than 120 of Diddy's alleged victims is being sued. A famous person is suing Tony Busby, saying the attorney, Tony Busby, is shamelessly attempting to extort exorbitant sums from him while threatening a lawsuit packed with wildly false horrific allegations if he doesn't pay up. The famous person, identified only as John Doe, filed his own lawsuit in Los Angeles County Superior Court 
describing himself as a high-profile individual who knew Diddy and attended events along with Diddy. He's being repped by one of his premier law firms in the country, Quint Emanuel. The man says attorney Tony Busby and his firm threatened to unleash entirely fabricated and malicious allegations of sexual assault, including multiple incidents of all word of a minor, both male and female, against the famous person if he refuses to comply with their demands. The lawsuit goes on to say Tony Busby, the man letters allege the famous person, all word the males and females while they were under the influence of D-R-U-G-S at parties hosted by Diddy. The lawsuit claims Tony Busby put a ticking clock on the extortion demands threatening to sue if the famous person then agree to mediation mediation to resolve this delicate and important matter. The famous person is suing for extortion an intentional infliction of emotional distress. Quinn Emanuel urges everyone with information on Mr. Busby to contact the company. Oh my goodness. Wow. Now, Tony Busby and his law firm are not backing down. Nope, he's not. He says, we won't allow the powerful and their high-dollar lawyers to intimidate or silence sexual assault survivors. Busby says he sent a standard demand letter to a New York lawyer known to represent the individual in question seeking a confidential settlement on behalf on on behalf of two clients what am i saying instead of a lawsuit he says no dollar figures were included in the demand letters and no threats were made contrary to the allegations in the lawsuit against him Tony Busby added, I am a U.S. Marine. I won't be silenced or intimidated. Neither will my clients. That's right, Tony Busby. Tony Busby is not threatening to disclose the demand letters in, in an upcoming lawsuit. You guys, there's more. Tony Busby is being sued again. He's being sued for assault. A woman suing as Jane Doe claims to have been a former client of Tony Busby. She has filed a lawsuit in which she alleges Tony Busby assaulted her while repping her in a divorce case. Now, the documents do not lay out specifics of the alleged assault, but a source, you know what they say, a source is the person, wink, wink, connected to the women, so a source connected to the women, you know, the women pretty much, tells TMZ she is alleging she was in a public place when Busby saw her and flew into a fit of rage and allegedly pushed a champagne flute into her face, chipping her tooth. Hmm. She says she has both medical and dental records to prove her her injuries. She also alleges he committed malpractice, claiming he messed up her divorce case, costing her millions of dollars. The alleged assault occurred several years ago. Oh my goodness. The women's lawyer, Jeremy Bohr, tells TMZ, Tony Busby is a hypocrite. There is nothing worse than when a black hat masquerades as a white hat. Tony Busby replied saying that's crazy fiction, like really crazy, like ridiculously crazy. I would ask if the lawyer bringing this silly case is friends with a lawyer from the firm that brought the other extortion case. All this will be exposed soon. We won't be bullied 
or silence by frivolous cases being filed against me or against my clients. All of this is false and I won't tolerate defamation. Okay. It's crazy that now they are trying to sue him. So now the same lawyer is being sued <laughs> by two people now. Oh my goodness. And I wonder who is this famous person? Who is the famous person? Is it Jay-Z? Hmm. Could be. Or Ashton Kutcher. Because Los Angeles... <gasps> yeah. I think it's Ashton Kutcher. Yeah. Could very well be Ashton Kutcher. Wow. What do you guys think? Who do you guys think it is? Jay-Z, Ashton Kutcher? I mean, a very famous person. Hmm. Who do you guys think it is? Leave it in the comments. Don't forget to like. Don't forget to subscribe. Thank you guys for tuning in, of course. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.